Islamic State no longer holds any territory in Syria. USTHEUS Department of Defense announced on Friday that all Islamic State-held territories in Syria have been 100% eliminated. The Syrian Democratic Forces, SDF, along with the U.S.-led coalition had launched an operation to eliminate the militant group's last stronghold in the town of Baghouz. Iraq had claimed victory over Islamic State in 2017. Relations with PAC very good. Ready to meet new leadership. Trump as President Donald Trump has said that he's ready to meet the new Pakistani leadership. Calling the current relations between the two countries very good. This comes despite the U.S. repeated warnings to Pakistan to take action against the terror groups operating on its soil. Trump has suspended $1.3 billion in aid to Pakistan over its inaction against terror groups. NZ attack video not spotted on priority as suicide not reported. FB Facebook said it is re-examining its live stream policy after a terrorist live streamed mass shootings on two mosques in Christchurch, New Zealand. Facebook revealed its AI failed to detect the video, adding that live streams are currently prioritized based on being flagged and when reported for showing suicide. The live stream was watched around 200 times but no user had reported it then. PAC PM says PM Modi wrote to him on PAC National Day. Shares message Pakistan PM Imran Khan on Friday said that PM Narendra Modi wrote to him extending wishes to Pakistanis for the National Day of Pakistan. Received message from PM Modi. It is time that people of subcontinent work together for a democratic, peaceful, progressive and prosperous region, in an atmosphere free of terror and violence, Khan tweeted. France approaches EU to list Massoud Azhar as terrorist France has approached the European Union to designate Massoud Azhar as a terrorist. The External Affairs Ministry said on Friday. It added, the EU will take its decision once the process of designating a terrorist is complete. If he Block lists Cesar as a terrorist. It will result in his travel ban and freezing of assets in all EU nations.